To retell the story, there was this boss that walks into his employee's office and the employee was supposed to be writing him some kind of a paper or a report. He needed to produce something for the boss. And the boss walks in and takes a look at what the employee had produced and he asks him a very simple question. Is this the best that you've got? And with that, he just turns around and he leaves the office. The employee kind of shrugs his shoulders and he gets back to work on whatever it was that he was supposed to produce for this boss, thinking to himself, I guess he wasn't satisfied with it. Let me figure out a way to make it better. The boss then comes back in a little bit later and he says, he takes a look at the report and once again asks the employee, is this the best that you've got? And he turns around and he walks out. So the employee gets to work again and this happens a few more times. And at some point, the boss walks in and the employee says, before he can even say anything, he says, I know what you're gonna ask. This is the best that I've got. I cannot make this product that you're wanting me to produce. I can't make it any better. It's my absolute best. And at that point, the boss says, okay, well, if you feel that it's your best, then I'll go ahead and read it now. How can we learn from this? Man, you know, that was profound. I heard it while I was riding today in an audiobook. And just for me personally, I thought to myself, how many of us can be pushed to do better than we currently are in whatever it is that wherever you think this video might apply to you? I mean, if somebody came up to you and put a little pressure on you, asking you, is this the best that you've got? I mean, could you give a little bit more? Could you try a little bit harder? Could you take control of more things that are controllables that you can actually like use to help increase your performance? I think about that. And I know for me, the answer is a resounding yes. What a powerful question. Is this the best that you've got? For many of us, the answer is no. And I think this story illustrates it perfectly. We've got so much more to give than we think that we do. And so surround yourself with people that are going to be hard on you and are going to ask you these kinds of questions. In that same audiobook, you know, they, they, they harp on a guy named Steve Jobs and how relentless Steve Jobs was with his employees. You know, was he, a, was he mean? Was he a guy that, you know, was tyrannical? Was he a guy that was always yelling at people? And I mean, I'll let you make your own decision, but looking at it from the outside, I feel like he was a guy that just pushed people because he knew that they weren't working at their limits. Is this the best you've got? And for Steve Jobs, the answer was no, it's not the best you've got. No, you can make that computer better. No, you can make that product faster. No, you can whatever, right? Like things aren't impossible. You're just not working at your full capacity. You're just not giving your best. And then when you do, we get the products that Apple turns out like the iPhone, like the iPad, things that were like way beyond their time, right? So my question, is this the best you've got? Apply that wherever you want, think about it. And I think for many of us, we would say that it's not, that we've got room to do even better. How are you, how am I, how are we going to start doing those things? It takes a plan, it takes definitiveness of purpose, it takes intentness and intentionality. Lay it out begin to get to work on it. We can do better, y'all. Let's do it.